In this video, I'm going to show you a simple concept that you can use to keep mobile escape artist quarterbacks in the pocket. Really a great little blitzing uh, play against bunch tight end users. This is going to be very effective, like I said, for keeping the running back or the quarterbacks um, just contained in the pocket. You'll eventually, you'll also get some sacks um, out of this concept as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I upload multiple videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're talking about the nickel triple defense out of the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook. If you guys want to get all of my Madden 22 eBooks, the nickel triple is in there along with 13 other offensive and defensive guides. You can get all of them for just 10 bucks a month by joining my Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, I think it's the best deal that I could offer you in terms of how you could get better at this game. You're going to instantly improve just by joining the Patreon. So if you want to sign up for that, again, there's a link in the description below. But today we're talking about the mobile quarterbacks and primarily talking about bunch tight end because bunch tight end, this is just my personal opinion. I think bunch tight end gives you very, very good uh, blocking and, and very much so a very solid and consistent ability to roll out against pretty much any defense in the game. So um, the, de the defense that I'm going to be using for this is cover to man. You could actually use this concept out of any play um, in this formation, but I believe that it works best. Uh, from a man look, but again, we'll, we'll throw some audibles in here. You can do this out of anything. So I'll throw cover three in there. I think cover three is a very underrated play from this. I'll throw that cover one in there. So you see we've got these two looks, and then we've got um, cover three cloud. I wouldn't do it out of Tampa two. You could, uh, but I just, I mean, you could. You just need to kind of adjust it a little bit. So anyway, we're going to come out and cover two man. Now notice real quick a little bit of a distinction. If we come out and cover to man, look at the alignment of the defense, you're going to see that it's man aligned, right? If we audible to cover through cloud, you're going to notice that pretty much nothing changes. They move a little bit, but nothing really changes. We're still in a man alignment. However, if we audible to cover through sky, now you see we get two players on the right side of the screen. So just kind of an important point to start off with. Now, the setup is honestly really simple. Literally, um, this is the problem real quick. So the problem is that they can basically slide protect their line to the right, and then they can block their tight end, and you're going to get this double team here, and then if you've got a skate artist, you can roll out, and you can hit your crosser. Very, very powerful play. Sybil has probably ran this better than anybody for the last two years. Very, very incredible bunch tight end player. Okay? So how are we going to contain this? How are we going to handle some of this? The beauty of nickel triple is that you get what I like to, you get these wide angles. Um, so for example here, if I were to take, let's just say we spread our linebackers and then we reset our linebackers, right? You could do something like that. Um, it is a little bit wonky here because of Alexander. So if you move him over, then you can kind of move this guy, you know, where he's supposed to go. Um, and then you'll be fine, okay? But anyways, the bottom line is, look at this defensive end on the right side. You see how wide he is? He's outside the tight end. So when we show blitz here, you're going to see that it's going to bring this guy down into a position where he's in a pretty decent spot, to be honest. So we're going to show blitz. Now, really quickly, I like to manually press that cornerback on the left on that receiver. So the way you do that is you hit triangle, X, and then you hit the icon of the receiver, and you flick the right joystick down. That's going to press. So across the board, we're going to get a very clean press on these three receivers if you want to. If you don't want to press, just shade coverage up. But it's a very nice alignment that we get from the defense here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to blitz this safety. Now, when we blitz this safety, it's really important that we go ahead and QB contain. We're going to slide him so that he's on the contain. And then we're actually going to come down and stand to the right of the center and put our user on a blitz. So you see how this looks right here, okay? Now, what their process is, is they're going to slide protect to the right and block the tight end. And what you're going to see here is we actually get a nice little contain, and then we can kind of shed. Um, sometimes you will get pressure. Um, if they're blocking their tight end a lot, then what I would do is actually go ahead and blitz the linebacker that is over the tight end. And then basically, mentally, you can tell yourself, okay, if they send that tight end on a route, then I need to go cover him. But a lot of times out of bunch tight end, this is just my opinion, the way most people run their offense, you're going to get boot over a lot, you're going to get curl flat corner a lot, and you're going to get... Um, you're going to get maybe some constraint theory plays out of boot over, but for the most part, that tight end is going to stay in the block. Almost unanimously, just the way people run this offense, they're going to try to roll out to the right. Pretty, pretty standard. Okay. So if we, if we are encountering someone that is doing that, 
um, then that's where I like to go to this cover one linebacker blitz. And what you're going to notice is now the safety is here. So when we show blitz here, you see we still get a really good alignment, but now we get a little bit better of alignment for this defensive end. And we've already got this guy blitzing here, Scott. So all we have to do is blitz Alexander, bring him in and put him on a contain just like that. And then we can basically stand right here with our user. And we know that if the, if the tight end runs out on a route, we need to cover him. But if he doesn't run out on a route, we're going to be fine. We got everybody manned up across the board. I think man coverage, honestly, is probably the best way to defend bunch tight end, in my opinion. Now, I would probably shade up out of this. But anyways, what you're going to see here, I just want to show you the play. You see how we get a really smooth rush. He has to stay in the pocket. And you're going to get pretty good sheds out of this defense. So that's another little piece of the puzzle if you want to be a little bit more aggressive with it. Again, the most passive thing to do, literally, to me, just slide this guy in on a contain. Um, and then I would, you know, bring this guy down. You could put him right over the center, opposite the running back if you want. But what this is going to do for you is, again, you're going to be in a position here. So, like, if you're in cover two man, you see that I have to manually press that guy. Where I was cover one line with blitz, I don't. Okay, that's another little distinction there. Um, but here you see, see how they kind of push in that pocket. It's pretty, it's pretty compressed. You can't roll out and you're just in, you're not in a great position. So this is how I like to defend a uh, bunch tight end. I think this is the easiest way to do it. Um, another way that we can do this, however, uh, and I'll show you a little blitz here. I like to do this blitz out of specifically the cover three cloud. Uh, and just primarily because of the alignment. Okay. So if you look here at the zones, you see, this is kind of what we've got. Now, if we wanted to send pressure out of this look right here, what I like to do is take Adrian Amos, bring him in, if I want to do this out of zone, right? Um, now, I know, okay, I know that I need to be careful a little bit with this with this defense, right? But we can send Alexander off the backside. So you see we've got kind of a six-man look here. Um, and then I would take that middle linebacker, put him into the, into the deep. And then you're going to kind of use her right in here. So we still have our flats covered. We just really have to pay attention to the tight end. Uh, and again, this is a six, I think this is a six man uh, concept here, or six man pressure. Um, so again, we're just kind of amping up the pressure a little bit because they're blocking seven, right? If you run it over like this, you're blocking seven. Now you see you can't roll out. We've got to take the crosser um, and then you get the shed. So, you know, that's, that's kind of how I like to defend this. One last little piece, little bonus tip for you guys at the end. Again, if you want to learn this whole uh, defense, grab the Patreon. Link in the description gets you everything, okay? I would really encourage it. Um, but another little piece of this is we could go to that cover one linebacker blitz. And this is a really aggressive uh, way to stop this play, uh, but what I'm about to show you. So again, you're going to you know bring him in on the contain, but now what you're gonna do here is you're actually gonna stand like right in here, okay, if you will. And it's kind of a tricky little shoot here, but basically you're gonna go right through this a gap and i can't it's hard to show it with two controllers but that a gap opens up for you to be able to blitz right through with your user if you want to try to like really really get them out of this this is a great way to do it so cover one linebacker blitz just show blitz you don't even have to show blitz if you don't want to you could just press um but if you press you notice that that slot on the left is not pressed um so again it's up to you uh, but again just bring this guy off the edge here slide him in and then you're standing kind of right in here, right? Well, again, look at the running back. The running back's path, he's going to the left side. So literally all we have to do is we can just kind of bum rush the A-gap, and then now, as you see, you're really putting them in a bad position. Now, what I like to do is kind of shoot it um, through the backside. I think that that is helpful. You could do this out of cover two man as well. Um, it's a little safer uh, out of cover two man because literally you could just do something as simple as this. You can go ahead and contain your standing kind of right in here and you know set up the pass protection and now you see see how see how easily we can kind of push that pocket a little bit okay so those are some little little simple things that you can do to defend it um you know the rollout is really really tough but you know something like this is fairly easy you know another simple thing is literally just blitz your linebackers uh qb contain and then what you can also do is let's say we're in like a cover three cloud, you could send this guy here. And then when you bring this guy down, you can man him up. So now you have man coverage across the board. Um, you are the only player in the middle field. So you gotta be kind of aware of that, but you get in a situation like this and you see that you know you can pretty easily bum rush that A gap with your user. So those are some little tricks uh, to, 
to stop the mobile quarterback, the rollout stuff from escape artists. Um, the biggest thing is being able to contain, and we showed you how to do that in this video, at least from the first couple of setups. Uh, gave you a couple different concepts to play with, but I like the nickel triple because it contains fairly decently, um, especially because you can kind of show blitz and send nickel corners off both sides. 335 Will does a really good job of that as well. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and that's how you contain the quarterback, uh, how you can kind of slow down some of the escape artist stuff that we're facing. If you want to learn more in, more stuff about defense or offense, you want to get better, uh, all my eBooks are available in the Patreon for just one price of 10 bucks a month. 10 bucks a month, that gets you everything. So if you want to sign up for that, head on down to the description below and click that link and go check out the Patreon membership.